in chapter five of The Call of the Wild, in five months, Buck and his dog team have covered 2,500 miles, and the dogs desperately need a long rest. Two men from the States, Charles and Hal, and a woman named Mercedes, buy the dog team. Charles is married to Mercedes, and Hal is her brother. Onlookers suggest they pack less and give the dogs more rest, but they ignore this advice. Charles considers the animals lazy and whips them. Hal and Charles buy six more dogs and add them to the team, making a total of 14 dogs. The two men have never seen a sled with so many dogs, and they're really proud, failing to realize that sleds don't have 14 dogs because they can't carry enough food to feed them all. Buck doesn't trust these people. They don't know how to do anything and seem totally unwilling to learn. They at first overfeed the dogs in an attempt to make them pull harder. But the dogs need rest, not food. Soon, the three amateurs start to underfeed the dogs. The starving dogs begin to die off while Hal, Charles, and Mercedes argue constantly with each other. Buck and his canine teammates pull the sled as much as their beaten, exhausted bodies will allow, even though the four remaining dogs are wasting away. Spring comes. The expedition reaches the camp of John Thornton and the dogs finally collapse. Using a whip, Hal tries to force the dogs to get up. They all do, except for Buck. Furious Hal whips Buck and then beats him with a club. Thornton watches this abuse in torment. Buck has a vague sense of impending doom, lying ahead, and he refuses to move. Finally, Thornton hurls Hal away from Buck and cuts the dog loose. Buck and Thornton watch as the dogs, sled, and three people head out on some ice, which gives way, and the doomed expedition disappears into the frigid water. Hal, Charles, and Mercedes are highly civilized. They talk about plays, and Mercedes expects to be treated like a refined lady. They see themselves as superior to the uncivilized world of the Northland and refuse to learn skills that would help them survive. In contrast, Buck was a civilized dog who's been willing to learn and adapt. Because of this, he's thrived in the Northland. Because of their clash with the wild, Hal, Charles, and Mercedes demonstrate the negative, or reverse, side of the themes of knowledge and power, law and order, and belonging. This refusal to learn leads directly to their demise.